Hello everyone. In this video, we'll look at the uh, JavaFX on NetBeans. We're going to show you how to run JavaFX programs from NetBeans. We're going to start from scratch to create a new project file, new project. Now, please don't use JavaFX here and just use Java with Ant. Choose Java application. Next, I'm going to call this project my JavaFX test and check create main class. Finish. Now I'm going to create a Java FX test program from here. New Java class, my Java FX. No package. Click finish. Now let's go back to the book to copy my Java FX. And let's go back to past Java FX here. Now this uh, not recognized. We had to add Java FX library. So let's go right here, the library. We're gonna add to Java FX library. You need to uh, first install JavaFX if you don't have it and go to uh, the supplement and follow the link to download JavaFX and put it on your local disk. Now I have it already so I'm going to add the library and first we need to create the library it's Java FX 11 and this is the class library. Okay, so now I'm going to add the Java files and those are right here. So please look at it. It is, I put the uh, Java FX, um, uh, the uh, directory on the, the C drive and here's the uh, library and those are the library files. Uh, please don't include the uh, source file or the Java files, the class Java files at. Okay. At this library now. Now, see all this now uh, resolved. We can now run this program. Right click here and run Java now. We have a problem here is uh, JavaFX runtime components are missing. Well, we can fix it by um, adding this. Uh, when you run this program, you're going to uh, add this runtime right here. Let's go to the uh, uh, properties under this uh, my Java FX test and look at the uh, run here and this VM options has to be added. I'm going to add this uh, VM option here is the uh, so let's go to right here this is the supplement I'm going to just copy and paste the code right here. So this is the code I'm gonna copy. This is the module path and this is the add module. So I'm gonna add copy and paste this here. All right, so, so please note that this is a dash dash module dash path. Now what is the path? And you have to put it correctly here. In my directory, I put it on the C 
and the one I downloaded is is the version 11.0.2. So this is what I have. Now click OK. And let's give it a try now. Now you can run it. All right, so it's working just fine now. It is, it is great now. All right, let's add another program here. So I'm gonna go to the, uh, my source code here in the book. So let's look at uh, some of the stuff here. I'm going to have, um, let's see, have something like this. Uh, uh, note style rotate demo. So I'm going to have this is right here. This is the class name. And I go back to the NetBeans here. Create this new Java class. And this is the class note style rotate demo note package. And now let's copy the code right here is um, this all the way down here and put it right here and copy and paste. So this is fine now and let's run this program see if this is okay now. Right, this is just fine now and it's working. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.